Hi, it's Joe from Minerva. Today I'm going to show you how to put a band on a t-shirt. So if you were making the Rio Ringer t-shirt and you're going to put contrasting bands around here instead of turned up hems, I'm going to show you how to do it. There are two ways that you can do it. You can add the band on the arm when it's flat and then sew up the side seam or you can make little round ring bands and then insert those onto your arm. I've cut a Rio True Bias Ringer t-shirt. Um, I've uh, done the neckband differently because I've used that for a different video. So I'm going to put the armbands on this one. It's This is a fabulous pattern. It's not very versatile. It is a t-shirt and a t-shirt dress. But what's versatile about it is that you get to use up all your little jersey scraps and it's hard to resist um, making this t-shirt all in one fabric. In fact, I don't think I have. Um, I've always added a different colour. Today my uh, Rio armbands are going to be with the fabric cut the opposite way to the t-shirt and you can only do this if your fabric has stretched in both directions. So my t-shirt has the armbands here, I'm going to insert it in a circle and my stripes will be going the opposite way so that I get the same feature as the neck. The first thing to do is to fold your armbands in half with the short sides together and sew this short seam. Next you need to fold your armband lengthways and press it. And you can put four pins in to hold that down to stop it being too curly. I've got glass head pins so it doesn't matter if my iron touches them so be careful if you haven't got that. And the armband is marked in quarters. So I can distribute the armband evenly around the arm sleeve hem. Right, here's a way to put the band on. You might know a different way, but sometimes it's good to have a few different techniques in your arsenal. So here's the band, it's folded in half. We're going to put right side to wrong side, and that feels a bit odd, but I'll show you why as we work through. I'm gonna open out the band and distribute it evenly within the sleeve. I'm going to sew around there, just catching one side of the armband and then we're going to roll the armband over and put the second pass on which I'll show you after that. Next, you're going to bring the armband out. You've got that nice crease that you made with your iron. Keep all of the seam allowances facing up. And fold it over to cover the seam allowances. If your seam allowances are quite curly, I've got quite a curly jersey here, you can trim out some of this seam. See, I've got this one that is curling round so you can go round with the scissors and take off some of that seam allowance. Be careful not to cut your sleeve.
okay the reason i like this method is um that now i've folded it over to the right side i can sew from the right side and i will get my top stitching exactly where i want it and actually it really doesn't matter if it doesn't catch the back or not because the band is attached already on our first pass so if it goes off the, the binding it really doesn't matter but we can get a good finish from the right side so you need to sew this from the right side and some take the uh, accessory tray off so that I can get my sleeve around the arm if your sleeve is stretched around the arm then don't do it because you'll stretch your sleeve out but just for the ease of this circumference I'm going to sew the top stitch around the edge and you should be able to feel with your finger that you've gone over the edge of the seam allowance so just keep pushing the seam out up and out of the way and edge stitch your band down attached so from the right side the side that everyone will see you've got an even line of top stitching and from the inside see it's just gone off there and it's not caught it anywhere else so it's just below that line so instead of just missing to catch it I've applied it first and then top stitched it on the second pass that's how you add a, a ringer sleeve. Of course, you can use the same uh, technique on a neckline. Um, sometimes I use it because I want to use a different fabric or sometimes I want to use it because it actually gives a really clean finish because you're concentrating on the outer finished uh, appearance rather than whether you're catching the fabric or not. So this is the t-shirt so far. And I've used that stripe in an opposite way to give a different effect. Come back for some more sewing tips and techniques soon. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.